Thank you. Record high turnout at the polls for a second consecutive day. Some waiting as long as eight hours in line. Voters showing up with food and lawn chairs ready to wait as long as it takes to cast their early vote for the November election, which is now just 20 days away. We have team coverage for you this morning. Tracy Potts in Washington, D.C., as both President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden are scheduled to make stops in key battleground states today. Liza Lucas at the 11 Alive Bridge with the results of our exclusive of 11 Alive Survey USA poll, but we begin with Nick Sturdivant live in Gwinnett County where changes are underway to help reduce wait times. Good morning, Sheba. We are here at the Gwinnett County Elections Headquarters in Lawrenceville on Grayson Highway. We spoke with the Gwinnett County Elections Director yesterday. They told us that they will add five more voting machines and two more check-in tables here at headquarters today to help alleviate some of the wait times. And one thing I want to, well, I want to show you the video from yesterday, and that's video at the Shorty Howe Park Precinct in Duluth, where people waited about two hours to vote, a shorter wait compared to other places across the state. Gwinnett has seen one of the highest voter turnouts in the state. Gwinnett alone saw a 484% increase from the first day of early voting back in 2016. So many people we talked to yesterday said the lines did not deter them. We came prepared with our chair, <laughs> so, um, but the line, no, it doesn't deter me. It, it's, this election is highly important. There's a lot at stake, and so if I have to sit out here, I'll sit out here. I have a uh, young granddaughter that was thinking about not voting. Grandma, I don't think. I said, oh, no, ma'am. And Sheba, again, we are here at the Gwinnett County Elections Headquarters. The precinct here opens at 8 o'clock. One thing I want to point out, and you guys showed earlier in the show, there's a line that's formed outside of headquarters. Again, we're still about a couple of hours away from this polling precinct from opening. At 10 a.m., we're expected to hear from the Secretary of State, and he will give us updates about early voting. And look for 11 Alive to live stream the Secretary of State's media briefing on everything from early voting to absentee voting and preps for Election Day. Look for that on our social media platforms. Also, be sure to download the 11 Alive app so you can get alerts sent straight to your phone.